Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 29. That is, what is beta testing? Let me answer. Before I explain what is beta testing, we have to first understand the different levels of software testing. In software testing, there are four levels. They are unit testing, followed by we have integration testing, followed by we have system testing, and finally, followed by it, we have the acceptance testing. Unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptance testing are the four levels of software testing. In that, if you focus on this uh, system testing, in system testing, the software testers will perform testing on the whole application. That is, entire application will be tested as a whole in system testing by the software testers. But the main focus of the software testers while performing the system testing on the entire application is on the client requirements or specifications but less importance is given to the user needs and expectations. How in real world, the end users or customers are going to use the software is given the less importance while performing the system testing by the software testers. More importance is given to the requirements, okay? The client requirements or specifications whether developers have developed the software according to the given client given requirements or specifications is the main focus in system testing, but less importance is given to the user needs and expectations. So to resolve that, after system testing, we perform acceptance testing where we give more, more focus, okay? Where more focus for testing is given to the user needs and expectations, okay? Unlike system testing here in acceptance testing, okay? More importance is given to the user needs and expectations. Here also the requirements will be verified, but ultimately the main ultimate focus here in acceptance testing is user needs and expectations, whether the developed software is according to the, or meeting the user needs, real world user needs and expectations or not is the main focus of the acceptance testing. And this acceptance testing is performed at two levels. That is, there are two types of acceptance testing. One is alpha testing. The next one is a beta testing. In the previous software testing interview question, I already covered the alpha testing for you. You can refer that. So in alpha testing and beta testing, so I'm not going to compare this alpha testing and beta testing in detail in this session, but coming to the beta testing guys, okay? Beta testing comes after the alpha testing. Okay? In simple words, beta testing belong, these both testing types belong to the acceptance testing, but beta testing is performed after the alpha testing is performed. In beta testing, though the focus is on the end users, needs or customers, but who will be performing the beta testing guys? A limited number of end users or customers will be performing the beta testing as part of acceptance testing. And this limited number of end users and customers after using the software or after testing, indirectly they are testing by using the software guys. For their purposes, they are going to use the software by installing the software and using it. Indirectly, they are going to give the feedback for that, okay? So from this feedback, the testing is being done. Here, here ultimately, since the end users and customers are actually using the software and indirectly giving the feedback and performing the beta testing, we are verifying the we are verifying the user needs and expectations only right so if you take an example guys okay a example real world example where beta testing is performed how so if you take a company like microsoft okay microsoft uh, releases different products into the market one of the product is like a operating system windows operating system it has released windows 7 then 8 8.1 then 10 11 got also released recently and and uh, in future, it is going to release uh, Windows 12, okay? As per today's date, I am speaking as 9th March 2022 when I am recording this video, okay? So at my time, Windows 12 is not uh, released into the market. So Microsoft, when it uh, before it releases a particular software into the market, what it does is it will release this particular software, okay? The system tested and alpha tested particular software, okay? A software, uh, software application which is system tested and alpha tested. After the system testing, unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and alpha testing of the acceptance testing is done, then the companies like Microsoft or someone will try to, okay, will pre-release the software, guys. We can say that it's not a final release. It, they will pre-release the software, not to the entire people in the world, okay? They will not release the pre-release the software to the entire public in the world. Rather, they will release this, do this pre-release only for the limited number of customers, okay? Limited customers across the world, they will release but not the entire public only limited number of customers they will release and they will collect the feedback from this limited number of people okay while the people are using this uh, okay while the people are using this uh, pre-release software by installing in their machine and uh, by installing the operating system in their machine and they are doing all their day-to-day -day tasks 
based on that they will get some feedback as microsoft company will get some feedback and indirectly this limited end users or customers have done the beta testing for the microsoft company and after getting that feedback after working on the feedback finally the microsoft company kind of companies will be releasing the final version of the software into the market before beta release or pre release they are not going to release the final release okay hope you understood what is beta testing now okay that is performed by the limited number of end users or customers okay and uh, expectation focus is on definitely when end users or customers are uh, using the software means uh, the focus is on the user needs and expectations only and this is performed as part of the acceptance testing by the companies okay fine so hope guys you you got the answer for what is beta testing and who will be performing the beta testing and uh, uh, how the companies will make sure the beta testing is performed and all these things i covered in this session so when you get the uh, this particular question in the interview you can answer something like this okay so how much uh, how much you describe right that much uh, the interviewer will find out that uh, so much knowledge you have okay so based on what you speak matters right it's not about definitions or something you have to answer in your own version so that the interviewer will understand that whether you know what is beta testing or not okay so with this kind of explanation you will get convinced definitely so guys that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer the next software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye